Now the other modifier I used on this shoot was the 70 centimeter beauty dish. Now you're probably all familiar with beauty dishes. If you never used one, they're absolutely great. Uh, more often than not, they're used for fashion photography. Um, but I was using it obviously today for this portrait and this kind of uh, um, campaign for Georgia as a singer songwriter. Uh, but what I love about the beauty dish, and again, talking about how I like to use the deep power because it just gives me that sweet spot. What I love about using the beauty dish, and nine times out of 10, I will use this setup. I will use the honeycomb grid that comes with it, by the way, as well as the sock that comes in it, which I like to think of as a big shower cap. But all of the beauty dishes come with the grid and they come with the sock as well. So you can have, you can take both of them off and just have it as is. So this is the 70 centimeter silver interior. So this gives me, with as opposed to the white one, this gives me more of an edge, more of a more specular highlights, just a little bit more punches, which is what I prefer over the white. But this is great because this fills the whole space. So this gives you a nice general fill of the whole face if you're doing a close up. Whereas if you want something more contrasty, then that's why they've supplied the honeycomb grid. And when you use the honeycomb grid, it channels the light forward again, like the, like the deep para does, because it's the light is traveling through the honeycomb grid and then just falling forward. So you can just see how much of a difference it does actually make. So this for me is the perfect sweet spot using both the honeycomb grid as well as a shower cup on top. So it's gonna channel the light forward, then hit that diffusion and then spread out a little bit, but not as much as it was, would have done if the honeycomb grid wasn't on it. So towards the end of the shoot, we use this setup to create some in-camera double exposures and triple exposures, which looked really, really cool. I was so happy with how they came out. And at one point, I even got my assistant to pick up the City 600, which is battery powered, so there was no worry of any trailing cable. She was able to physically hold it and move around me during my three second, four second um, shutter. So she was able to move around and get another flash from another angle, which looked awesome. So I hit my shutter, it fired once, then she moved around me. Then I hit the test button again, which then fires another flash. And then that flash then exposes into my camera. So in order for this to work, I made sure I killed all the ambient in the room. So the only thing that the camera could see was when the, was when the light flashed, if that makes sense. So we use that with the City 600 and the 70 centimeter beauty dish with the honeycomb grid that that's comes with it and the shower cap that also comes with it as well because that for me is my favorite combination of not too, not too spread and not too channeled as well. But it's a fantastic modifier. I've used it quite a, quite a number of times on various different shoots, not just this, uh, but it's a fantastic, fantastic modifier. You probably know about it already and it's, uh, it's widely used. These are great, I love this one. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then please make sure you hit the like and share button or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks ever so much for watching guys and I will see you again next time. Thank you very much, bye bye. Oh, one more thing. If you're watching this before the 18th of March, then please come along to the photography show where I'm gonna be giving a talk on the PixPro stand. I'm gonna talk about some of my travel stuff and I'm also gonna be talking about how you can use this ring light that's lighting me right now, how you can use that in combination with strobes as well. So mixing continuous light with strobes as well and just generally talking about this ring light, which is also another cool product. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.